Raise your hand if you've got a case of the Mondays. Now, raise your hand if you've got a case of the Monday news. I'm raising my hand. Welcome to the CoinMarketCap Daily News. I'm your host, Andrew, and we've got some weekend news stories to go over. But first, if you haven't noticed lately, our fledgling YouTube channel has been hitting on all cylinders with guides and interviews in addition to our regular daily news. To celebrate all of this action, we're holding our CoinMarketCap official YouTube channel launch event. You'll have a chance to win from our prize pool, which includes prizes like 10,000 USDT, a 70,000 diamond airdrop, 500 limited edition NFTs, and more. Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications on our channel, and use the form in the description below. Also, you'll get bonus points if you refer more users to do the same. Good luck. Now, on to the news. First, we're going to talk about the Floki effect, after Elon Musk tweets out a picture of his new puppy. Then, to Jolly Ol' England, as the British Postal Service sort of allows the purchase of Bitcoin. And then, we talk about another hedge fund that's interested in crypto. When I say Shiba and Elon, your brain probably immediately jumps to Doge. However, after Elon's tweet yesterday, maybe it should jump straight to Floki. That's because the Tesla Techno King introduced his 60 million Twitter followers to his new Shiba Inu puppy, Floki, on Sunday night with a cute picture of the dog napping on the floor. The picture has already been retweeted 17,000 times and like 228,000 times. But, as data from CoinMarketCap shows, this subsequently caused a dizzying spike in an altcoin called Floki Inu. Within a half hour, Floki rallied from $0.00016850 to $0.00004037 up about 139%. Interestingly, the altcoin seems to have preserved most of its gains as of the time of writing, and it's still up 104.98% over the last 24 hours. While it's been a crazy day for Floki, it's been an even crazier day for another coin called Shiba Floki. It was trading at 651 trillionths of a dollar at the time of Musk's tweet, but three hours later, it raced to 7,974 trillionths of a dollar. Though this may seem rather insignificant, just in terms of percentage, that's a 1,124% surge. All of this is happening amidst a rocky week for crypto. At the start of the new week, Bitcoin has fallen below 45,000, and Ethereum, Cardano, Binance Coin, and XRP have all suffered losses over the same period. Next, we go to Britain, where the country's state-run postal service is allowing customers to buy Bitcoin. Sort of, anyway. The post office has announced that its identity verification app can be used to connect to a decentralized exchange called Swarm Markets. And from here, vouchers can be purchased that are redeemable for crypto. As a result of this arrangement, the post office isn't going to be receiving a commission if crypto is purchased. It simply serves as a middleman when it comes to know-your-customer checks. Despite this, the move has attracted criticism. A number of MPs have called for the post office to reconsider whether its Easy ID app should be used this way. Dame Angela Eagle, who sits on the Treasury Select Committee, told the newspaper, quote, It's extremely concerning. The post office is running a huge risk of completely damaging a trusted brand. They're risking their own brand for something which is unregulated and giving it legitimacy and credibility. I think they should stop it right away." Unquote. Swarm Markets describes itself as the world's first licensed high-liquidity DeFi protocol and says it delivers the convenience and transparency of DeFi with the confidence of financial market compliance. When it comes to its partnership with the post office, an executive said that it wants to ensure that Bitcoin and Ethereum can be bought easily and safely. Regulators are more concerned that a lack of understanding among British customers could cause them to invest more than they could afford to lose. And finally, a European hedge fund has announced that it is going to significantly expand its push into digital assets. 
and launch a cryptocurrency unit. Brevin Howard is one of the world's largest hedge funds, and the institution's chief executive claims that there is a huge diversity of opportunities within the digital asset space. Back in April, the firm had announced plans to invest up to 1.5% of the assets it had under management into digital assets. At the time, executives said that they were confident that cryptocurrencies had the potential to rise in value, and that the fund would gain exposure to a number of different assets, not just Bitcoin. This is certainly not the first hedge fund to explore cryptocurrencies recently. According to Stuart Cole, the head macroeconomist at Equity Capital, quote, what was initially seen as something of a fad now appears to be becoming a more permanent structure of the financial landscape, and this has started to see what were initially fringe financial instruments moving to become more mainstream and very much forcing the institutional interest we are now seeing, unquote. And those were our Monday news stories. If you've learned something today, why not give this video a thumbs up? If you want more daily news videos about crypto, subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications. And if you've already done that, enter our YouTube launch event, like I mentioned earlier. If you want to learn more about any of these news stories or are just curious about crypto in general, be sure to ask Alex in the description below. I've been your host, Andrew, and I'll see you around. Have a good one.